Hey, good morning, folks. How you doing? Okay, uh, bottom line up front about how to uh, cool down an overheating Mac. I can just tell you how I fix mine. Uh, so uh, if you're just watching the video for this, here, here's what happened. My MacBook Pro, <clears throat> I've had it for four years, overheating to the point that I couldn't use it unless I was in an air-conditioned room. If I was in an air-conditioned room, the laptop worked fine. If I left the air-conditioned room, got so hot it, would, it literally would not work. Okay, so number one, you need to go to uh, Activity Monitor. You know, do the little search, go to Activity Monitor. It's going to show you what is hogging up all of your CPU uh, resources. I went there and it said uh, Google Chrome Helper. It was just like, I mean, making the processor work nonstop. So I just Google that. It says how to disable Google Chrome Helper. You open the Google Chrome on your Mac. Click the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner and scroll down to additional permissions and click unsandbox plugin access. And then uh, click the blue slider so it turns gray. There, you disable the Google, uh, Google Chrome helper tool. Well, when I went there, I didn't see that. That option wasn't there for me. So what I did, I deleted the plugins that were associated with Google Chrome. I had like a map plugin that would convert lat long into MGRS. So I deleted these plugins off of uh, Google Chrome so there were no plugins attached to the browser. It seemed to help it some, but then it was Google Chrome itself that was hogging up the, uh, the CPU. Now I run an antivirus, so uh, yeah, you say, okay, you got a virus, you got something on there. Well, I run antivirus programs, so I'm assuming that's not the problem. But for some reason, Google Chrome itself was just hogging the CPU. So I stopped using Google Chrome. I started using Safari and now the CPU is not being overtaxed, you know, causing that aspect of the MacBook to overheat. Okay. Problem number two, this thing was dirty. It hasn't been cleaned in four years. I took it uh, to the shop. We opened it up. Obviously the, the fan is caked with uh, fuzz and dirt and dust. So are the ports, so the air doesn't circulate. So if your Mac's overheating, probably uh, step one or two, you need to take it and have them clean it out. Now listen, the little screws on the back, they're not a regular screwdriver. Don't try to use a regular screwdriver because you'll strip them out and uh, you know it'll, it'll, it'll be hard to get that back off there. You gotta get the right Apple tool, just take it to a repair shop, let them open, open it up, blow it out with the air and, and brush it out. That was big problem number two. Okay, uh, problem number three. Damn, I already forgot what problem number three was. Hold on. Oh, now I remember. Okay, the fans on the MacBook Pro, it didn't seem like they would come on unless it's like, you know, got to critical mass. So I downloaded a program where you can manually control your fans. It's called Max Fan Control. I put it on full blast. Full blast means it's gonna run those fans at uh, maximum speed. Now, yes, is it gonna burn out the fans quicker? Yes, uh, but, it, but it's keeping the Mac cool and it's solving my problem. Uh, you can set the different custom levels, but uh, uh, for me, the solution is full blast. Okay, so here's a recap. Stop using Google Chrome and delete all the plugins. Number two, get your MacBook Pro cleaned out. It's just dirty. Number three, max fan control, put it on full blast, boom. Now I can use my laptop in any room of the house. I'm here in the Philippines, it's a tropical environment, so it's hot. But now this thing works. And you may hear the fans running in the background, I don't care, okay? Because I was at the point I was gonna scrap this laptop and get a new one. Now the thing will probably run, you know, who knows how much longer. So there you go. Bottom line up front, if you have a hot Mac that's three steps I would take that I did take to fix my Mac. Now I had an additional problem. I knew there was a problem with my batteries uh, because the, the thing wouldn't stay on for more than a few minutes and it died. The batteries had swollen up to the point they were pushing the back. And so we removed the batteries and yes, your MacBook Pro will work uh, if you take the batteries out. So basically I have a laptop with no batteries it has to be run on uh, the adapter. So basically now it's a desktop. But I did the same thing with my MacBook Air a couple years ago. Uh, 
the batteries got jacked up. I didn't want to spend the money. So it just serves as a desktop too. The good thing about having a laptop without batteries is it's light. My MacBook Air without batteries weighs absolutely nothing. I love it. I, I love it. I, you know, I, I was taking the damn thing everywhere because it was so light and obviously you have to plug it in, but you know, you, you're traveling light, you get to the hotel room, you plug it in, you do your work. Why the hell you need batteries? Uh, so now my MacBook Pro without the batteries, it's light enough. It's like my MacBook Air with batteries. So, so there you go. I got two laptops that are now desktops, but at least they keep running. And if I can get another six months year use out of this before I, I buy a new one, uh, that's fine. Um, there you go. Now, back to the regularly scheduled programming and what happened during my day. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my train, folks. I'd certainly appreciate it. And also ring that bell so you get notified. We don't wear a watch. We don't have a production schedule. So ring that bell like Rocky. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Who's that ringing that bell? All right. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Folks, here's the news flash. Uh, that 5 0 
four years of everyday solid use in various environments a lot of times packing away on that thing at the beach you know tropical heat so you got extreme temperatures sand you know spilling beer uh, i'm pretty hard on uh, on my laptop so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pop the back off of this thing see if you can't clean it up blow all the dust out of there in the sand probably like eight rats four chipmunks and a fucking hamster up in there living up in there and that's contributing to the fact why it overheats i've never really looked at this this close before like that's the, the exit porch right there you can see a little bit of fuzz in there but i never really looked at the sides Goodness, look at that. Looks good at these little specialized star screwdrivers. Not a regular screwdriver. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's horrible. That is four years. Four years of hard work on this MacBook Pro. Looks made big. We had a big error. We had to come over here to the Hall of Justice for some business. Um, I asked the gentleman the question and he said, uh, you can't come in here. I'm like, what? He said, you're wearing shorts. I mean, if I do mind, both wearing shorts. I didn't even think about it. I mean, it wasn't like we were going to court or nothing. We just had to do, pick up some paperwork, do some paperwork. But the guy said, you cannot, you cannot come in here because you are wearing shorts and folks I should have known better than that I just wasn't thinking it's the market area much better prices here at the Longapo market than obviously Subic and Barrio Barreto so if I did might look so cute but they wouldn't let us in because we're wearing shorts my bad my bad should have known so if you come into the hall of justice on any business make sure you're in a proper uh attire which is damn common sense i just you know some some days you just don't think but we got our business accomplished at least over here oh yeah it's time to head over towards the sm well, I gotta mail something at Air 21 first, and then we'll head over uh, head over towards the SM. All right, folks, we're right up here at uh, the new SM. Found this gentleman. He's got the tool. Gonna pop the back off the MacBook Pro. He took one look. He's like, "Oh yeah, you see all that dirt in there?" And we'll buy a can of air over here to assist him. He's gonna do a manual. But I said, "Man, let me get a can of air too. Let's get this thing all cleaned out." I think there's a problem with your battery. Yeah. How'd you know? Because it's pushing it out. <laughs> yeah, the battery's jacked up, man. The battery hasn't worked in a while, folks. It'll work for like two minutes. But you know, I was gonna scrap this thing, but thanks to, thanks to Eric saying, hey man, that thing just needs to be cleaned out. See? How bad is it, man? Uh, it, it requires replacement. <laughs> it really needs to be replaced. This is the state of your laptop oh, and the fans. See? Oh my goodness, look at those fans. <laughs> okay, so that's that's why it's overheating right there. All right, so the gentleman said basically all my batteries are fried, which I guess I knew that because the thing wouldn't work for more than a couple minutes on battery power. So what I'm, what a, about five, five, 5,500, let's say 100, 120, 130 bucks to replace them all, but they got to order them. I said, man, just take them things out of there. I'll just use it on, uh, I'll just use it on the uh, adapter. Just, just rip them out, clean that bad boy up so I can go back to work. Look at those things, they're so jacked up, my goodness. It's probably effective about 20 beers being spilled on the keyboard. Mm, folks are doing major surgery. Major surgery on this here laptop. My goodness, it might be time for a new one. All right, so there's the battery. It's all jacked up and swollen. 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is brush this thing out. You know, brush it out with a toothbrush. The, the dirt, which are on the surface. We need to first remove those. Brushing his teeth. Yeah, on the other side. Plus here's it after. After all nice and clean. Got the batteries ripped out. No more batteries. Yeah, they're over here. I'm gonna go in the into disposal. But it's good to go now. Now we gotta see if it works. Hey folks, where we're at. Okay, this little place right here is called the uh, toolbox. If you need a laptop repaired, go see JL. And where they're at is right there in front of the space tech. It's that little kiosk right there called a the toolbox next to the globe. And Fatima is so hungry, she's so pissed off. But it's a difference in culture. They don't understand mission accomplishment first and then we go eat later. She's pissed, but that's the way it's gotta be. So they charged me one five, 30 bucks to clean it out, remove the battery. Uh, you know, yeah, I could have got it cheaper if I found a little shop on the side of the street somewhere, but I'm happy with what he did. The laptop works, but it's got no batteries in it now. But that's just the way it's got to be because they don't have any batteries in stock. I'm not waiting around for them to order it. So the laptop is now a desktop. All right, that's a Power Max Center. The Ace Hardware over there. You hungry, baby? Step outside into some freedom. The first thing you do is take off the grinding helmet. My God, it's fucking horrible. Thank you, thank you. You okay, Force G? Ready to ride? Never fails like when I start packing camping gear. It starts raining. Now look way over there, it's like sun shining. But it's just a tropical rain. It's a tropical rain coming down. I'm not gonna go piece by piece by the whole kit because you'll see it when we're camping. But look at that pile of gear. My goodness. I come out here to get this mop. I'm like, damn, that's where my shoes are. I've been looking all over for them. The lady's got them hanging on the barbed wire around the corner where I couldn't see. I've been looking for those for weeks. Folks, good morning. Today is a prep day for the camping trip. I want you to check out them blue skies. I just thought I would include it in this video to show you that after the rain, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here underneath the guava tree here in the Philippines. Oh man, I got roosters crowing, dogs barking, birds chirping, and blue sky.